Never have I ever worked from home in my PJs. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is Living Delight for Freedom and I am Delania. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some work at home jobs that you can start without experience in 2020. That's right, you can get paid to stay home and work in your PJs. But before we get into it, if you like videos about making money online, working from home and entrepreneurship, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Tap the bell notification down below so that you know when I post a new video. All right, my friend, so let's get Get right into it I have a list for you 10 work from home jobs that you can start without experience in 2020 so number one is a customer service representative as a customer service rep you get paid to resolve issues and answer questions about the company that you're working for so this is going to require you to have a lot of knowledge about the company you're working for you also have to make sure that you have all of the resources that you need to help the customer out this is one of the most popular jobs on the internet customer service representative Representatives. And there are companies that do not need any previous experience for you to get started with customer service. So that is a good one for you to get started with. So this is definitely number one on my list because it's a really good job to get started with online in general because it's in high demand and because businesses know the value of having an actual person answer the phone to speak to customers. Businesses know that customers do not want to speak to robots. They want to speak to live people. For this job, you usually just need a high school diploma, some basic communication skills. You also need some organizational skills and things like that. Some of the companies that are often hiring are nextrep.com, sykes.com, and liveops. Dot com. Number two is an online moderator. Now this is a very entry level job. You will be mostly in charge of online communities like Facebook groups, community forums, anything that involves an online community for a specific group or specific company or business. And for this job, you definitely need some organization skills and basic communication skills as well. You also need to get very familiar with the company's requirements and what they want from you. One of the companies that actually hires online moderators is called Mod Squad at modsquad.com. So number three is a search engine evaluator. This is a very basic and straightforward job if you already know how to use the internet and search on Google. So basically, if you've been searching on the internet for a while, if you know how to search on Bing, Google, or Yahoo, then you can basically do this job. It's pretty easy. You'll be given some search terms and search phrases. And all you have to do is give your feedback on the results that come up. Are the results relevant? You sometimes have to rate them from one through five, let's say, and you also have to make Make sure the results are accurate and useful. So you're making pretty simple Google searches and giving your feedback about what you find. Now some of the companies that hire for this are lionbridge.com, appen.com, isoft stone, and the pay is typically between $12 and $15 per hour depending on the company. They all vary. Pardon the interruption, but if you're enjoying the content so far, make sure that you are smashing that subscribe button, liking this video, and now we will continue. Number four is a translation job. If you speak more than one language, you can offer your services as an interpreter and you can earn some extra cash online this way. This is a great way. If you do speak fluently more than one language, then this is great for you because you can make really good money doing this. There are some platforms like Google Translate, but more and more companies and individuals actually want a real person to translate and they're willing to hire someone like you because again, these businesses and individuals are aware of how important it is to hire a real person, not a computer. So translation services are really awesome. Companies that are usually hiring for translation are Eppin.com, Gango.com, Verbalizeit.com, Daytranslations.com, and LanguageLine.com. And you also have the opportunity to freelance as a translator on Upwork.com or Freelancer.com or any other freelancer website of your choice. The fifth one is data entry. You're pretty much doing the same thing. It's very basic. You don't need to use your brain a lot. But data entry is actually something easy that you can start doing online if you're a beginner. So this is a very basic and routine job. You pretty much are doing the same thing every day. You need to know how to read. You need to know how to type. And you also need to know how to input information from one place to another. The only thing about data entry is that some of these jobs are very low paying that are online. But if you 
are just getting started and you'll take anything just to get yourself accustomed to working from home and working online, then data entry is a good one for you. Some of the companies that hire data entry clerks are Amazon Mechanical Turk, Clickworker.com, or you can also do data entry as a freelancer on Upwork, Freelancer.com, or any other freelancing website of your choice. Number six is online tutoring. Online tutoring is a really great one because you actually get paid really good money. Even if you don't have a bachelor's degree, some of the companies that do hire for tutoring do require you to have a bachelor's degree, but some of them do not. Now, you can get paid about $22 per hour. Now, some of the tutoring websites that do require you to have a bachelor's degree, VIPkid.com, QKids.com, and Magic Ears. Now, if you don't have a degree, you just have a favorite subject that you know you can teach online, you can try checktutors.com or preply.com. You can make about $20 per hour with check tutors. You can also tutor in a language on italki.com or cambly.com. Number seven is chat support agent. These chat support jobs have become very popular in the past few years. People like communicating with an actual person instead of a robot or a machine and businesses do understand that you would be helping customers with their needs just like a customer service representative that's on the phone but you would just be basically just chatting with them online and of course you need knowledge of the products and services that the company offers you also need to know how to type a certain amount of words per minute it all depends on the company and some of the companies where you can find jobs are needle needle.com the chat shop.com and also site staff.com slash careers next is test scoring there are tons of standardized tests every single year and they actually need online graders and testers to do this job this is actually a very easy very basic job it does require you to have a bachelor's degree and just know some basic computer skills this is a very easy job you're just grading papers you can make between 10 and 20 dollars per hour as an online test scorer and you are paid hourly per project some of the companies that hire test scorers are literably.com, rightscore.com, and pearson.com. Number nine is a virtual assistant. For a virtual assistant job, some companies don't require you to have any experience whatsoever. All you need is super good organizational skills, some basic computer skills. A lot of the times, these jobs have a lot of flexibility, so you can work flexible hours. You do need some really good organization skills and, and some of the tasks may include scheduling, reading or writing emails, or even project management. So it all depends on the client, what you can offer them, and what you can do, and what they want done. In a lot of cases, they actually teach you what they want you to do, and all you have to do is do it whenever they want it done. So this is a very basic job, virtual assistant. Some of the companies that hire virtual assistants are fancyhands.com, vavavirtual.com, belaysolutions.com, or you can also freelance as a virtual assistant and find some clients online. And for that, you of course want to go to one of the popular websites like freelancer.com, upwork.com, people per hour.com and you can find some customers that way. The next job you can do without experience is a transcriber. So this job would require you to listen to audio some type of audio file, whatever it is they give you. It might be a video and you pretty much have to type what you are hearing. So this is a very entry level job. There are companies that do hire people without experience and this job is also done from the comfort of your own home. Now some of the companies that do hire are transcribeme.com, transcribeanywhere.com, quicktate.com, and also tigerfish.com. Now every company does pay differently and you are paid per audio minute or audio hour. So getting your first work at home job is a little bit difficult, I know that, but we all have to start somewhere. However, the demand for online services is growing rapidly. And with that comes more and more work from home jobs that require little to no experience. So we all have to start somewhere and you might as well just 
go ahead and do it. And these are jobs that are going to be here for a very, very, very long time. So why not start now? Why not start learning and earn an income from home? So it is definitely worth a shot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Now leave me a comment down below and let me know if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.